following tutorial, we're going to look at setting up and using a CAN bus with the Proceed P8000 data acquisition system. We begin by loading the DATS acquisition software. And here we can see in the signal setup matrix one of our CAN and GPS ports. And we can change the number of signals that we can apply to the CAN and GPS port by selecting Tools, Options, and the general tab and here we have the number of messages which we can attach as signals and if I add some for port 2 we'll see that port 2 is now available here as well from the CAN options you can also select the CAN bus data rate the ID length and the mode for CAN port number 2. I'm going to return that back to 0 and we'll just use 10 messages from CAN port 1. To begin we need some sort of uh, template file normally called a DBC file. So if we load the CAN bus parameter selector you can access it quickly by pressing the F11 key or by selecting the menu entry here. We then need to import the CAN bus file and in this case I have a DBC file. We can select either CSV, CFG, DBC or LDF. We're going to select DBC in this case. There's my DBC file. So I open that DBC file and I'll see all the different parameters which are defined in that DBC file. and I simply need to select the ones I would like to monitor so perhaps transmission axle ratio um, fuel flow barometric pressure and by ticking these items they'll appear in the selected tab here and from the selected tab I can simply drag and drop onto the acquisition setup matrix in whatever form I would like and I can save those settings if I'd like as well in my ZDC file which is the ProSig version of that file so we don't have to keep importing it. And from here I can simply arm the data acquisition system and begin capturing data using these channels simply by enabling them here. These channels will then appear in my captured data as signals. I can select the sample rates that the data will be up-sampled to or down-sampled if I so desire. I can then save my setup file. and if I so desire I could set up the real-time displays using the channels as any normal analog channel so I've got transmission, axle ratio, fuel flow and barometric pressure ready to be captured as soon as we have some data